Now, you've, as we said, already probably heard about it because over the last few years, it would actually come up in the news and then die out again. Pox is an disease and it can occur in humans and other animals. Symptoms will include a rash that forms blisters, it can even crust over, you can get fever, swollen lymph nodes. But the decision to sound the alarm, that's what's made us at TBC sit up. We thought we had to bring you all of the information about it. There is an upsurge of cases that is reported in the Democratic Republic and the nation. So these are regions in Africa. Since the beginning of 2022, India has recorded 30 cases of Mpox. But no cases of Mpox have been recorded in India right now. So during the current outbreak that we're seeing. The health ministry says that they've got a plan in place. You have airport, seaport, ground crossing checks all in place, testing labs that are ready to roll, health facilities prepped for cases. But how worried or not worried should we be about this story? We obviously, we love to bring you experts on this story. So we thought we'd go to Dr. Bagai to bring us an entire breakdown on everything there is to know here. Doctor, thank you for joining us here on the show. Dr. Bright and Early, just tell us first up, uh, is monkeypox potentially the start of a new pandemic? Do we need to be worried? Yeah, so monkeypox was uh, announced as a public health emergency in July 22 by WHO. And uh, from then till now, it's still localized, mainly in uh, Western and Central Africa and few cases in, in Europe. Uh, but at the present moment, there is no indication that it will turn out to be a pandemic. But just tell us, you said, okay, in the present moment, there's no chance. But is there a chance that in the future also, we could see any kind of lockdown? That's the big scary word, especially because of what we just saw. Is there a chance we may see lockdowns coming in of any kind? No, I don't think we will need interventions, but this is a, uh, so there are two parts to your question. One is, it's a portrayal of uh, perhaps non-existent public health facilities in places like uh, DRC. And I visited that country personally myself. Uh, so I can tell you from first-hand information that public health services are practically nil. Uh, so I think a lot of countries in Africa which are uh, languishing need to get the act together because no one is safe till everyone is safe. And uh, the second is we need more stringent screening and uh, this screening would be for all people who are coming in uh, internationally into India and uh, uh, there is a history which should be taken in the last three weeks because the incubation period of uh, monkeypox can be up to three weeks. So we need a, a more detailed history taking and a more detailed surveillance at the time. Of India story for a second. We were just telling our audiences India has had cases happen. We hear about it every year. What's the current picture like? I think India is pretty much all right at the dramatic increase in cases. In my own practice, I have not seen a single patient. Uh, it's more common in uh, in children, in pregnancy, in immunocompromised. environment, people who have a uh, uh, history of being gay or bisexual, unnatural sex, uh, dealing with wet market, in those kind of conditions, it is much more common. But otherwise, uh, if you take simple uh, hand hygiene precautions, uh, simple personal hygiene precautions, I don't think there is any need to panic at all. Okay, Dr. Bagai, then let's just take a deep dive. How is it actually transmitted? We've told our audiences what it is, but not enough about hota kaise hai. How does it pass from one person to another? Yeah, so uh, monkeypox, in fact, is a misnomer because it uh, initially started with squirrels and rats and rodents and then monkeys. So the first case, human case only came up in 1970s, whereas monkeypox per se has been there since 1950s. Again, in... Democratic Republic of Congo and Central Africa. Um, uh, so it comes from animal to animal. It can also come from animal to human beings, uh, from human beings to human beings. Uh, if, if you come in contact with body secretions, so it is by direct contact, uh, saliva, semen, sex, uh, direct uh, handling of animals. Uh, so there is a, a multi, uh, multi prong uh, entry point into human beings. 
Okay, so doctor, how does one, especially because things like saliva are not, you know, things we can do too much to prevent the spread of, how do you actually keep yourself safe? Yes, so monkeypox is a viral infection. It behaves exactly like the old smallpox, the present smallpox. Clinical picture is exactly the same. It's fever, rashes, pustules, boils, uh, headache, lymph node enlargement, uh, uh, body ache, and so on and so forth. Uh, a lot of them, 40% of them have uh, uh, genital pain, genital abscesses. So, if you take simple precautions and just do your normal chores in a routine manner, I don't think there's anything to worry. The incubation period can be from 8 to 10 days, going up to 21 days. Then it goes into the phase of scabbing. That means your scars form and then when the scab falls off, even that is infectious. So, the full process is about anywhere between one to one and a half months. But I think simple precautions of uh, personal hygiene should be more than sufficient. Okay, doctor, the next one's a slightly... Uh, it's important. I read a bunch of articles that said that scientists have actually observed changes that are making the virus more capable of human-to-human -human transmission. Essentially, it's seemingly getting more dangerous. Should we be afraid? that means clad 1 and clad 2 clad 1 is what is there in congo it's supposed to be more nasty and clad uh, 2 is supposed to be in elsewhere in uh, western and central africa uh, but the clad 2 in clad 2 b that's depending upon how the genome behaves though the viral protein behaves so the monkeypox has about 190 base proteins it's a double standard uh, dna virus so whenever these mutations take place, and especially there's a mutation known as OPEC B3, when this mutation takes place, it's the virus becomes more virulent. But having said that, the long and short of it in a simplified manner is hand hygiene, personal hygiene, mm. uh, don't uh, you know uh, touch uh, live animal proteins, uh, live markets, uh, keep away from, from especially monkeys and rodents and things. Uh, and... Uh, well, be careful during sex. Okay, doctor, before we let you go, we just have to ask conclusively because we've had such a sort of well-rounded conversation where we've talked about MPOX itself, how it's spread, its history, the regions it's existing in and what people can do to keep themselves safe. But I just want your verdict for our audiences. Is there any cause to panic? No, I don't think there's any pause to panic. Uh, I think we are, India has learned a lot uh, during COVID and its aftermath. Uh, I think surveillance at uh, international airports, in, uh, especially the cruise liners, uh, travel history from Africa in the past three weeks at least, uh, any symptoms like fever, headache, rashes, pustules, lymph node enlargement, um, uh, any other systemic symptoms, any perigenital or... Uh, uh, any sores, any any pain, almost 40% of them have that. So we have to do a more uh, clinical surveillance at the entry point into the Indian shows. But otherwise, I don't think there is anything to panic. It's a public awareness which is important so that people know that this virus exists and we have to be careful about it. Okay, Dr. Bagai, thank you for bringing us all of that information. This was too important a story for us to lead out, leave out at all. So we knew that even if it is Rakhi, we wanted to give you this health warning. We wanted you to know all of the information, especially as you're going out there and meeting family members. This is something you can share with them. We're going to head into a break. After the break, we have something entirely different for you. A new app that a mother invented over the last few years. It's something that's been in uh, the App Store for a while now. But it's a little safer. We'll take a look at it after this break.